friends, brothers, and sisters. My name is Tin, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel is from Matthew 11, verses 28 to 30. And this might be a very familiar passage to all of us. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired. Life is hard, work is burdensome, and the daily grind can be exhausting. It's also human for us to get tired and to need rest. But what's the first thing Jesus says about rest? He says, come. Jesus' first word is an invitation, an invitation to move and to act. He says, come. Sometimes when we're burdened by life's difficulties or when things go badly, our first response is to stay where we are, lie there, brooding over everything that's wrong, and we get stuck in a place of darkness, and then we become hopeless. Or we try to take our minds off the problem and rest when really we're just distracting ourselves. We uh, go into vices, sleep all day, withdraw from others, isolate, and so on. But see how Jesus wants to get us out of this trap. In his love, he extends his hand to us and he invites us to get up from our place of darkness and to come. Come where or to who? To me, he says. When we have problems, we usually seek an expert, a professional, a mentor, or a friend to listen to us. Sometimes even Google when we want to search for answers. And this is good. But let's not forget to come to Jesus or to seek Jesus. Let's not forget to come into prayer the same way we would seek a doctor when we're sick, the same way we'd ask a mentor for life decisions, the same way we'd go to Google if we want truth or if we want answers. Let's not forget to come to Jesus. Friends, this is what it means to find true rest. It's not about sleeping all day, more relaxation, more bumming around at home. True rest is found in Jesus Christ and experiencing his joy and peace. Now, how exactly does this work? Jesus says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. A yoke is this big, heavy piece of wood that connects two animals together so that they can plow the field or move at the same time. And they sort of share the weight of it. So similarly, Jesus wants us to be yoked with him to be connected to him so that we can plow the field of life together. He wants to be united to us and to be near us. And most of all, he wants to share the weight of our burdens with us. And so to take his yoke upon us is to learn from him two things, gentleness and humility. Jesus is gentle or meek and humble in heart. Jesus says that if we imitate him in his gentleness and humility, Difficulties will be easier, burdens lighter, and we will find rest for our souls. When I was reflecting on this, this actually took me back to the Beatitudes or the secret to happiness. Right? It says that blessed or happy are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God, and so on. Now you might be wondering, well, how exactly does being gentle and meek make things easier for me? Isn't it so much harder to be gentle and humble in today's world? You see, a prideful person only relies on their own abilities. They take on everything on themselves, on, on their shoulders. They work themselves to death because pride says, I can do all of this on my own. I don't need any help. When things fall apart, it's my fault. Everything is up to me. That's what pride would say. And that's why it can get tiring. It can get burdensome. Meanwhile, a humble person would know that, yes, it's good to give it our best, and we should, but they understand that our human abilities will eventually reach its limit. And when that happens, the rest can be surrendered to someone mightier than we are. A humble person knows that he can do everything on his own, that he is always in need of grace, and a humble person would not hesitate to ask God to help him. And he knows that he can lift or surrender everything to the Lord. 
And that's what makes his burden lighter or easier to carry. So friends, I pray that all of us today will have the grace to imitate Jesus in his gentleness and humility. And I pray that all of us who are carrying big burdens, heavy difficulties and problems, I pray that all of us will find true rest and peace in our Lord Jesus. If you have been blessed and inspired by this reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Tin. Thank you and have a great day.